Hi, just wanted to give you an overview of the mindmapchannel.com website. It's uh, new, having just been released uh, a few weeks back. It's the follow-on to a Facebook group that I started earlier this year, um, which included very much the same sort of data, covering Skull and Bones and Anthony C. Sutton's research, which all ties together. Um, so when you come to the homepage, you'll see this information here. It's just basically just an introduction as to what you're looking at. Um, you've got a link here to Wimkin, which is a discussion forum group that I've set up so you can um, join and discuss with like-minded people, explore the history of uh, the deep state. You'll see some links down on the right-hand side, which give links to the books. Uh, interesting, I've included the Cyclopedia of Fraternities by Albert Clark Stevens, which was documented in 1899. So that gives a very broad history, which was compiled over a thousand living members, covering 600 fraternities which all tied together, and it's all explained inside that book. Um, if um, you're not clear on the storyline, the history of the deep state, um, then Anthony C. Susson's work is great at giving you a um, academic uh, view of uh, what's basically happened uh, over time. And what this website does is tie into that understanding and you'll see that when you click to the categories you've got people which is just the list of all the posts but when you click into war what you'll see there is I've uh, broken down the wars uh, by Cold War, World War II, World War II I've really broken out so if you wanted to see how they Skull and Bones financed Adolf Hitler who was involved in it, who wrote the I Paid Hitler um, biography and who published that, that was actually um, Skull and Bones as well and uh, you'll be able to see who was at Spletchley Park. Uh, sadly, Skull and Bones were there as well. And go through the other departments, including the War Production Board. And scroll down all the way through. Now you'll find that there is uh, tri trigger events for wars, and those are also are uh, highlighted as you go through the text here. So you'll see there, World War I trigger event. And uh, I go back as far as the American Civil War at this point. Uh, now, a number of these are still work in progress as I look to compile the information. Um, so uh, wherever possible, I've just highlighted that so you know I'm likely to come back to it and update it. So that's war, you've got finance, finance covers, uh, interesting items like the Federal Reserve, lots of Skull and Bones men involved in the Federal Reserve, uh, including George L. Harrison, who was the president of the Federal Reserve of New York during the Great Depression, 1929 to 1941. So he was there just before and left just before it finished. Um, you've got the subprime mortgage crisis, lots of Skull and Bones men in there. And now for this to be possible, they had to ensure that the, the mortgage-backed securities were treble A rated. And two of the key rating agencies were uh, S&P and Moody's. And you'll find those covered here and here. And there's various appointments that happen just in time. And um, so it's interesting going through those. And we'll be able to click on these and it'll take you to the various profiles. Uh, and I also include the 1907 crash and the 1884 crash, which was actually caused in part by Skull and Bozeman, who was the president of the Second National Bank. Okay, so that's war finance. Uh, foundations I'm fleshing out, but you'll find as you click into these, lots of Skull and Bonesman. Carnegie, Skull and Bonesman. Norman Dodd, because Carnegie was involved in the um, discussions between the Carnegie Foundation at Guggenheim and Rockefeller Foundation, where they looked to alter the manner in which the subject of history was to be presented, effectively re rewriting history. If you'd like to see videos on that, go to further research, find Norman Dodd, and you'll be able to listen to him and his testimony as to what they intended to do and it also covers the Great Depression which is very interesting as well especially um, given our understanding from Ben Bernanke that the Federal Reserve was to blame for that 
and we just previously saw that George L. Harrison was the Skull and Bones man at that time, the president of the New York Federal Reserve. And you also find links to the various books which link to archive.org, which you can check out and um, read. Tags. All of the posts have tags. And so to filter them, to go through them, what you can do is you can do a search. So if you want to see how many Secret Society members were in Barack Obama's administration, you can find him and click on that tag. And you'll go through it. And remember, I'm adding posts daily, so that list is likely to grow. Bill Clinton, see how many Bill Clinton was a Rhodes Scholar. Rhodes Scholars are Cecil Rhodes. Cecil Rhodes was a Freemason. And um, so the Rhodes Trust, I believe, has a very close relationship with Freemasonry. Uh, so Bill Clinton um, has many Rhodes Scholars there working for him. Some Quill and Dagger and so on. And it goes all the way back, and it will be going you know, all the way back through Calvin Coolidge, who had connections to the Russell and Co. Company, and Freemasonry connections as well. Um, I think you'll get a sense as this comes, gets fleshed out, that historically President Trump has quite a battle on his hands, given the historic implications of everything we're looking at. And, you know, obviously, you know, President Dwight D. Eisenhower was backed by Skull and Bones. So you'll find that various people here were uh, involved in creating um, rallies for him, supporting his president run. I believe he was backed by the Rockefellers. Now, Rockefellers were huge employers of Skull and Bones and the other secret societies. Um, and you may ask why. Well, cause, because they're involved in everything. Um, and so here's a good example, Richard Dale Drain, he was the chief of operations for the Bay of Pigs failed invasion, uh, which effectively set up uh, John F. K. for the embarrassment. He in turn fired um, Alan Dulles, who after the assassination of JFK was then one of the members of the Warren Committee that investigated the assassination. But going back to Richard Dale Drain, he was the acting secretary of the Intelligence Advisory Committee on meetings around unidentified flying objects. And you'll find that when you go through the documentation here, you'll find that I link to the actual minutes themselves. So click on that and it'll take you to it. Uh, so there's lots of interesting stuff going on. Um, and I try and illustrate it, use icons for you to uh, quickly recognize what you're looking at. There's a lot of information, so maybe yeah, do some deep dives on a few of them that you like. Uh, maybe the subjects that you really enjoy. Uh, maybe it's to do with um, government, running of government. Maybe it's to do with finance, banking. Maybe it's to do with medicine, pharmaceuticals. You'll find a subject there for everybody. Maybe it's intelligence. Maybe you're interested in who is at Bletchley Park. Yeah, and then you know, on the flip side of that, who is financing Hitler, and how they're related, um, and. Yeah, sometimes you see names of companies like Covington and Burling. Well, um, when you want to get a more rounded understanding of opinions in that space, um, it's worth taking a look at uh, Fritz Springmeier's Bloodlines of the Illuminati because the Bundy family and others are very, very um, prominent names. And uh, based on his research, it does give you a slightly more rounded opinion of what's going on. Um, so you'll find that that, uh, when combined with this, kind of helps flesh out your understanding of um, Skull and Bones. And bear in mind that Skull and Bones uh, is, even from an academic standpoint, considered a branch of the Illuminati. Although the Illuminati is quite an old word for it now. Okay. Um, so, tags we've done, you can search the archives just by clicking here, and that will search all of the uh, text that you see in, against each of the posts. And then you've got the archives tab, which is just a list of all the posts. But if you want to check a name, 
you can come in here and just do a find on the name. It's another way of searching. Okay, um, so that's it for now. Uh, I look forward to seeing you on the discussion forum. Uh, please come along, say hello. Um, if you're able to, then please reach out and uh, support uh, the development of this site. Um, it takes a lot of time and effort to compile this information, and um, I would, you know, really appreciate your support. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.